Leo, let's jump straight into it and see what comes up for Leo love. Okay, there's definitely a new chapter in love for a lot of you. The Ace of Cups promises a very beautiful emotional bond that's going to be built. Now for some of you, it can definitely be with a water sign and you do have quite a bit of earth energy here as well. So Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, and then you have more swords, which would be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, but the Aces often indicate new chapters, okay? Uh, the bird here is seen as a messenger. Queen of Swords is sometimes seen as a Gemini. So I'm not sure if there's a Gemini coming in or your connection will be very much built on communication, um, the way you, uh, your sense of humor, uh, goals, way of thinking, ambitions, um, common interest and things of that nature. So that's what could be really solidified for you. Now, the Ace of Cups can also be an outpour of emotion. Um, so everything coming out, you can see the water emerging from the cup overflowing. For a lot of you, it's a very overwhelming, beautiful, joyous bond. For others, it is emotional baggage, tension, tears, chaos, whatever it is. It's an, um, it's an emotionally heightened period in relationships. And it could definitely be connected with what sort of came up for you in the general reading. Uh, there is a swift energy, so a lot is going to be taking place here. The Knight of Swords, for the most part, he jumps to conclusions here or rushes a situation. Now, there might be some issues with pacing or saying things before committing to them or being able to commit to them. Whether this is you, maybe this is speaking too soon, um, planning for something unrealistically, um, unrealistic expectations even that might come up around you and a loved one. Could be that things happen very, very quickly. So it might be a message here to slow down because the Knight of Swords is all about swiftness and irrationality and let's just get to the title let's just get to the finish line doesn't matter how we do it so it could definitely be a um, two step uh, one step forward two steps back scenario or a lot of stopping and starting in relationships but look not for all of you for some of you I definitely feel obstacles in communication or relationships will make you stronger you'll also notice that someone might be very protective over you and your connection as well someone might want to hold on to you very very tightly here the four, for me, it does have a bit of a double meaning. The four of pentacles here, you can see that he uh, harnesses, he's, he's literally guarding these pentacles. So it could be that someone wants to protect you or has truly come to value what you have and put you on a pedestal here. Or it could be that there's a bit of withdrawal and the withdrawal would be further reiterated by the hermit, which came up in the general reading. And the hermit can be withdrawal, independence, pulling way back in a situation. So I'm not sure if things are really going forward, but there could be a contrasting behavior where someone pulls right back, um, completely reversing, backing away, um, and even disconnecting. So for some of you, there could be a bit of tension caused. But look, that's not always the case. I feel like with the Page of Pentacles, this is a very strong infatuation of someone who is... Um, in lust but they're wanting something stable with you now maybe they're unsure about how to communicate that with the seven of swords it's not always deception or people cheating or people lying the seven of swords can be afraid to say what he really feels maybe he's afraid to get hurt maybe he hasn't found or or she hasn't found that you've um, reciprocated you've returned those feelings that you've mirrored through behavior feelings um, as they may have for you so there could be sort of someone like they're on the outskirts they might be orbiting around you they're very much attracted though the page of pentacles four of pentacles for some of you there's a career romance or someone you work with um, or you've had a business transaction with or maybe um, they provided you goods or services they might be coming around and revealing um, a crush or feelings for you what I do love is the fact that you have the Queen of Swords here. Now, she's very direct, she's very knowledgeable, and she's totally ready to talk about whatever comes her way. So there's an openness that's very admirable about her. Um, and the Queen of Swords, she's very well composed and, and well versed. And I feel like there's there could even be someone that's rehearsed 
to say something to you or you might find yourself rehearsing lines or a message or something that you feel needs to be communicated to a special uh, person. Queen of Swords also represents a lot more frequent communication. So if you've, some of you Leos that have been waiting for someone to sort of step up their game, communicate with them more, maybe they've been away, maybe they've been lagging in responding to you, maybe they haven't started, uh, they haven't messaged or called you first in a while, you might see some massive turnarounds in those sorts of areas because the Queen of Swords is very much about initiative, she's confident, she's bold, um, she likes to get conversation going, it what stimulates her. And there's someone possibly wanting to share a lot with you as well here. Maybe they're wanting to open up to you. Um, Queen of Swords likes to talk about her ambitions and, and, and experience or skills and, and dreams and direction. So the fact that someone is confiding in these sorts of areas, you know, says a lot. Okay, the Empress, maybe they really want to impress you. Um, and this is their way. They feel somewhat liberated, as the bird indicates here. Liberated and free to be able to communicate uh, these things to you here, Leo. So for a lot of you, uh, this is a very good um, auspicious sign that that could take place um, in terms of relationships. Let's move on and have a look at your career, business and finance, however, and see how that sort of relates uh, in these areas of your life. Yeah, five more cards. Oh, okay. Some unforeseen circumstances might come your way here, Leo, with the Tower card. Now, this gives us a contrast. Uh, the Tower card can also be delays in projects. So I definitely feel the incidents or the cards that came up in the general reading could definitely pertain more to career, creative pursuits, delays in um, publications, meetings, projects, um, in responses, uh, things like that with the Tower card, especially if you're directly involved with one other person, two people here, two ones here, so uh, and, and then also two sevens. So I'm not sure if there's a connection here, but for some of you, that could be the case. Um, there could also be delays and in, in, in losses in profits. The King of Pentacles is known to represent a large amount of money, an asset, or something that's almost like an insurance item or money or fund. And that could, um, could be on shaky ground for some of you. But look, it could also represent a Taurus, which sort of came up with the Empress, um, I do want to mention that the Empress and the King of Pentacles do make a very compatible uh, couple. Um, so in terms of business partnerships and sponsoring, there could be someone you have um, a lot of compatibility with uh, through your work ethic or maybe uh, your long-term vision, maybe short-term goals. Uh, creatively, you know, the moon here is creativity. So you could be that you find that sort of compatibility and uh, someone likes to be a bit of a perfectionist as you can be, Leo. So that could also be the case. Could be a large amount of money, especially if you've been delayed with this money. If this is like workers, uh, fair compensation, workers insurance, incentives, bonus schemes, settlements that have been sort of tied into work somehow um, or legalities. I do feel like you might be able to see some sort of dividends. So that could also be the case here. There is definitely a lot of uncertainty about a situation. The Page of Swords is present and he often indicates um, lack of confidence or lack of ability to move on in a situation. Um, he's often tied up in scandal, easily persuaded, easily swayed um, and not very headstrong. So if this isn't you, Leo, finding yourself in these moments, it could be someone you're working with, perhaps under an air sign here, um, or if not, regardless of the signs you're working with or dealing with, um, it could show that someone is hesitant about something um, the Page of Swords looks to the past, so for some of you, history might repeat itself. Uh, for some of you, the Page of Swords is someone, again, not directly communicating with you. I feel in matters of love, the Queen came up, so I guess it's a different ball game altogether, but the fact that the Page has come up here indicates that someone's not ready to talk and is closed off and is uncertain and if you have something that you're wanting to present forward you know people might not be uh, giving you the affirmations that you're wanting Leo you might not be given the green light you might not have people who are very receptive to your ideas you know the moon is here so this can symbolize worry and woe and you know feeling emotionally imbalanced in the workplace or creatively 
can be the sign of a Cancer here as well. Now, the Cancer can symbolize the past because Cancerians are quite sentimental and nostalgic, often dwelling on the past or remembering the past quite well because anything that impacted them, they're the crab. They're, they'll remember and they'll withdraw. So, I don't know if you need to look back to the past to ensure the past doesn't repeat itself, maybe with losses, maybe with past employees, um, problem solving, succession planning, whatever it be. Maybe something you've tried didn't work and maybe you're tempted to try it again, but there could be delays. Maybe this is an omen here that right now that's not the right time uh, to reinstall or, or redo something here. The moon is divine feminine energy, so it really rules empathy and understanding and compassion. There could be a water sign here or there could be a situation where your compassion is really required or is yearned for. There could be someone um, emotionally attached to you in the workplace or emotionally codependent on you, Leo. Uh, maybe this is romantic, maybe not. Maybe this is just someone that relies on you. Um, for inspiration or for solace and you know you've been their anchor you've been their rock it could be things like that that come up uh, for you this month as well there could also be travel opportunities with the two of ones that come up for some of you leos um, connecting with international people places events foreign affairs uh, international offers working for global conglomerates um, but expansion or the world even knowing your name, okay? You've got the world in your hands here and you are the ones, Leo. So that's quite interesting and I think quite positive for the most part. It can point to indecisiveness, but I think that would be more the two of swords rather than the two of wands. Um, I don't feel like you're grieved by this, but I feel like you might be in between multiple jobs, multiple projects or juggling between two different things even as well. Um, but it can also indicate that more research is needed or you need to leave the comfort zone. He hasn't yet made that step to leave his castle walls here. So he's still confined or in his comfort zone or doing things he's uh, used to doing for such an, a long amount of time. So I feel like you might try or have to do something a little bit differently. Um, Work-wise or creatively speaking. Or there's another component that you're adding to something. But I really feel like branching out and doing some research, even taking time off might give inspiration for you creatively or career wise uh, could impact you in, in a positive light, I feel. So for the most part, that's quite good. Um, but also finding balance, okay? Finding balance in, in career and creative pursuits could be quite essential for you um, during this month. I will leave your reading at that, Leo. Thank you again for tuning in.